Welcome back, Arcadians. How you all doing? It's part two of my Neo Geo MVS collection. That's right. We've still got 30 odd games here to get through. And that is what we're gonna do in this video, guys. We're gonna pick four of these games out of my collection, fire them up on the old Lord's Vale and see what they play like. And also have a look at these boxes that I've brought for housing these MVS carts. Are they any good? Let's check them out. So welcome back guys, I hope you're all well. Now before we pick four games out of my Neo Geo collection and fire them up on the old Lord's Vale, I thought I'd just show you these boxes that I picked up recently to house the MVS carts in, um, because I was gonna get these plastic shock boxes which have lovely art on the front, they have a beautiful spine and artwork on the back, really cool shop boxes but you had to get them from america the only place to buy them was from there and shipping worked out about 180 quid and overall for 30 games the total will come to about i think it was about 480 quid <laughs> and there's no way on earth i was gonna pay 480 quid for a load of boxes i know they're big you can't flat pack them so they would have had to be in a big box but 480 quid for some plastic boxes just seemed too much for me so my second option was this seller in Europe who basically sells these cardboard boxes. They're, they're post boxes, basically, that, that you put together. They all come flat packed. And he sends you a load of labels as well. You just tell him what games you've got and he sends you the labels as well. You just have to stick them on. But the trouble is with these labels is they don't stick down very well. I am constantly pushing the edges down. As you can see, that that one's peeling off already. Look, I can literally pull that back as it hasn't stuck down at all. So I'm constantly doing that. There's a few bubbles in there which I'm trying to push out. And I'm really good at putting stickers on and side art, which I've done on Nintendo cabs. So I know how to put these labels on. You start at the end and slowly push your way up and they've still got bubbles on. Um, so I wasn't too happy with these because these cost me for 30 games cost me, I think it was about 86 quid uh, for 30 cardboard boxes, guys. And I'm sure there's a much cheaper way of doing this. I'm sure you could buy these boxes in the UK and print your own labels off, but I'm lazy. I'm not very good on computers. So I, I got someone else to do it, but you know, retrospect, I probably would have done a different way. I would have tried to do it myself because they're not great, and it is a lot of money. 86 quid for 30 boxes is, is a lot. You know, that's a game. <laughs> that is a game. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise getting these boxes. I mean, they do look okay. I mean, they do look a lot better than just having the carts. I mean, if you look at the cart, we all know what a, an MVS cart looks like. It's very bland. It's just gray with black text, black font. And putting that up against my Super Nintendo games just doesn't look great at all. You know, they've got lovely colored font, lovely artwork, and they just look fantastic, a line of Super Nintendo games. But these just didn't look great. So I wanted some sort of color font or artwork and a box to house them in. And I, so I brought these and I'm, I'm just not that happy with them. So, you know, they, they've been relegated to my bottom shelf. <laughs> But, you know, they would do. You know, I'm not a connoisseur of N N Neo Geo games. I'm not a massive collector of Neo Geo games. They will do me. They will be fine. But, you know, guys, if you can do it yourself, I would definitely do that. But anyway, enough said of that. Let's pick some games out of the collection, fire them up on the old Lord's Vale, and find out what they're like. Because, guys, I've never played these games. I've never played them. I remember playing Metal Slug back in the day. Um, I think I'll probably play it on the, the Nintendo DS. There was a version of it on the DS. But a lot of these games I've never played. Um, so let's pick a few out, fire them up, and see what they play like. And as you can see, guys, all my Neo Geo MVS carts have been relegated to the bottom shelf. But that's cool. And they don't look too bad, do they? It's just, 
you know, some of them are getting a bit squashed at the, at the bottom and at the edges already. And I haven't had them a month and already they're starting to bubble. There, I'm always pushing my finger on them, trying to get the, get the bubble out. Um, but we're going to pick some games out, guys. So I thought we'd start with um, King of Monsters because I have actually played that on the Super Nintendo. Um, but everyone says that the, the Neo Geo one is the one to play, so that's what it came out on originally. So we're going to play that. We're also going to play uh, Neo Turf Masters which I've been recommended as one of the best games ever made. So we're going to test that one out. Also, I feel we should have a metal slug because we've got a lot of metal slugs to get through, five in all. So we're going to choose the original metal slug, which I do remember playing back in the day in my local arcade in Twickenham um, when that first came out. So it'd be nice to revisit that game. And also a game that I have actually been playing, I have had in the Lord's Vale, since I last did a video, because I've been trying to get good at this, Samurai Showdown. We're going to play some of this, because it's one of those games I'd love to get good at. So let, let's put them in the machine, fire it up, and see how good they are. Right then, guys. Let's coin up. Check what games we got. And let's play first... Let's play some Metal Slug. It's been a long time since I've played any Metal Slug. So I am actually quite excited about this. As you know, Metal Slug is one of those games that people always mention because of the graphics. The graphics are awesome. You know, it's just 16-bit art perfection. It really is. Um, so let's fire it up, guys. Just, just the way they've done all these pixel art sprites they just look amazing so we start off can't remember what the guy's name is now but we've got basically we've got grenade just the b button jump and fire i don't think there's any other special moves but yeah, i've got my three fingers on all three buttons and let's just plow through the levels can i duck yes i can duck so i can pick up that so I want a grenade there. That's it. And you pick up the animals, get a bit of a bonus. And then you rescue these guys at the top for another bonus. And you have to cut the rope to free the, the prisoner. Heavy machine gun I've got now, or I could change it to fire. I quite like the heavy machine gun, so I'm going to keep with that. Get a fish for another point, and now we've got a helicopter to deal with. It's trying to bomb me, so we're just going to... I love the fact that you can fire in all directions. is awesome. You know, like Contra and stuff like that. It's awesome. I'm going to grenade these guys down here. Obviously, there's a time limit as well, so you want to sort of get through the levels fairly quickly. You don't want to hang around too much. Oh, what happened there? I didn't see what happened. There was so much going on. I mean, that is the only trouble you could say that sometimes there's just too much going on at the screen at once to see what's actually happening. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> I was getting bombed. Come on, point upwards. He's not pointing upwards. Why won't he shoot upwards? Oh, that's because I'm bombing and not firing. Get the gas. grenades in there. Oh, it's such a great game. Whether I'd ever get to the end of it, I don't think so. So we've got an end of level boss now. Just 
trying to dodge his fire, which is not too hard to do because he's firing upwards. I think I've run out of grenades now, so I'm just going to have to keep firing and dodging his bullets. Duck. Can duck. Oh yeah, and I jumped that as well. I've done it, didn't I? Yes. I think we've done it, didn't we? In the level? Yes. So, prisoners recaptured. One. Is that all? I thought I got more than that. Mission one complete. I'm not sure how many levels there are to this game, but obviously, it's it's that sort of 90s era where you could just keep pumping the coins in and finish it if you had enough money. That's what kind of annoyed me, the arcades back then. Ah, oh, got me. See, I'm dead now. Oh no. That's it, I'm gonna have to grenade these guys because they've got shields. Right now, practice jumping over these electroids. Ah, oh, he died. Let's continue a bit further. The music is absolutely fantastic as well. It's not stereo, but it sounds like it's in stereo. <laughs> Speakers on this cab are absolutely amazing. Right, we can jump across here. Oh, rocket launcher, that is awesome. The weapons in this game are absolutely fantastic. It never gets boring. It's one of those games you just have to learn all the levels. Let's save this guy, get a bonus. And just rocket launch the boat. Get that. He's still going. I mean, just look at those sprites. Absolutely amazing. The pinnacle of that sort of era of games. When this came out, guys, it was incredible. It really was. Grenade him, he's gone. Is there going to be another one? Is another one? <laughs> I've run out of grenades. What am I going to do now? I have to jump down. Can I jump down? You can actually jump on the boat, which I think is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> jump off before it sinks. Yes, I've done it. Shotgun. Get that bazooka, can I? No. That is awesome. Well, I've got some more bombs. What is this? Big tank, end of level boss. Gently nudge your way through their bullets. Come on, is he dead? Yeah, he's out of it. Oh, I didn't see him laying down. Oh. Oh, what are these? <laughs> oh, I knew I was going to get hit. 
Oh, one more continue, come on. Let's get in there. <laughs> what is that? That's a plane. They loop the loop on me. Just run them over. This is an absolutely awesome game. What have we got now? Taking some, taking some damage. Get out, it's going to blow up. Oh, come on. Oh, I knew I was going to get hit there. Didn't leave me a lot of options there. Whoa. Oh. I've just got to think this, I've got to defeat this boss. Can't grenade him, he's too high up. Yes, done him. Oh, my hands. I've got arcade hands, guys. Oh, that's awesome. That was level four. Let's just see what the next level's like. Oh, it's level, mission two. It says level four down there. Whether that's my character that's at level four, I'm not sure. Must be, mission three. Right, have a look. Grenade. Oh, where am I going from here? Take these out. Another plane. A helicopter. Ah! Oh, come on! Yes. Where are we going now? Got him. Oh, we've got to jump over there. Are you kidding me? Come on in. Run and jump. It's going to be a difficult one. Oh, yes. Oh, I think I need to blow that up. Oh, I've got to get this up. We're shooting this. Oh, what? Just keep firing. Someone's going to come behind me. I know it. Done it. Right, jump again. Awesome. But guys, we have to finish that one there because that was 10 minutes. On to the next one. Right. So next game, guys, is Samurai Showdown. Absolutely amazing game, but I am not very good at it at all. I'm terrible at this game. Just got to work out the moves, just spending the time on it and practicing, really. This guy is, is the guy I seem to go with most of the time. Just your standard samurai fighter. Oh, yeah. 
Right, so to block, it's backwards. I think there are a few Street Fighter moves in here as well. We can sort of arc the joystick, that's it, and do the wind. I remember that one. I love the music to this game. But it's a little bit more tactical than Street Fighter. You have to see so you can block. Oh, God, God, stab me in the head. <laughs> oh. See, I'm not. See, this is what I don't know how to do this power move. She's red. One more hit and she's dead, I reckon. Yes, got the point in Ippon. That worked out for me all right there. The music's, uh, the atmosphere and everything is just so cool. Oof, straight into the kill there. put some heavy moves in here because she is killing it with those lower ones. Oh. Oh, I knew she was going to get me. So I say, I need a lot of practice on this. And I don't know whether I've got it on a hard setting. It just seems very hard. Lost my sword now, but great. Oh, it's just coming right in for the kill. Nah, I'm no good at this game, guys. I'm no good. I love it, but I need to, someone needs to tell me how to practice. Show me the moves, because I am no good at all. But it is an awesome game. I can tell it is. It's just one of those games you just got to get better at. Very cool. Right, on to the next. All right, select the next game. It's got to be Neo Turf Masters, isn't it? This could be a long one, guys. <laughs> Grab yourself a drink, sit down, and chill. It's one of those really chilled games. Right. <clears throat> right, so I can pick. Oh, I can pick my clubs. Now, I know nothing about golf. I used to be a caddy. I used to hate walking around with the golfers back in the 80s. I was about 14 and they used to wear these Lionel Scott Pringle jumpers, which I absolutely hated because I was into rock music. And um, they used to make me run after them. They had this little buggy and I used to have to run after them. They wouldn't let me sit in the, in the buggy. I had to run after the buggy and just chase these balls down. I hated it, I hated the golfers. I know it's different now, but back then I think it was a little bit more of a class thing, a bit more snobby. Um, but anyway, we need to start. Uh, match play, yeah, one player. Straight play, We've got to have the English guy. Technician. Uh, where should we go, Germany? Let's go to Japan. Japan! Thank you. I don't remember this in the arcade at all, but I would have just walked past it because I wasn't really into golf. So we've got a meter down here, let's try and get it to 100%. And get it on nice. See if we can get across the lake, yes. Not a bad shot. I need a stall to play this. I'm standing up playing. This is one of those games that could take forever to play. Oh, that's good. And that's good. Where are we there? Oh, we're on the putting green. Nice. That's a good shot. So let's get her in. Holding three, do you reckon? Oh, yes. 
<laughs> is that good, guys? I think it is, isn't it? A birdie? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a golfer. Up 12. Cool. Okay, on to the next course. This would be a great two-player game. It really would. Move her over a bit. Give it 100%. Oh yeah, right on the line. Good shot. Oh, I'm in the rough slightly, so I shouldn't have moved it over to the right really. So I might not be able to get a. We got any wind? Not really. Just want to line it up a bit better with that hole. And um, we want to get it on 100%. I think we're going to go over there. Oh, we're in a bunker. Not good. So I'm not sure how hard to hit this now. Oh, pressing the wrong button, guys. Oh, that wasn't bad, you know. That wasn't bad. Only 50%. On the power, so we want to go with that yellow arrow is flashing there at the bottom, right on there. Bit short, but we've got her in. Not bad, on par. So we ain't doing bad at the moment. Down 13. <laughs> Next course. We've got to do good on this one, guys. Closest to the pin. Oh, that's a good one, I think. That is a good one. Yes, nice. Right. Come on, holding two. Yes! We must have moved up the table again. Yeah, we're a ninth now, so that's good. It's the best I've ever done. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've got to get across the waterfall. Ah. Oh. Bit short. It's not going to make it. Ah, oh, hit the tree. No good. Ah, oh, that's not good, guys. Didn't see that tree. If I move it slightly over there then. Yes, we're on the green. This is a good game. This really is a good game. It's quality. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. What a shot. Oh no, too short. Oh, what was that? No. If anything, I wanted to be a little bit stronger. Yes. Because we're going uphill there. I'm going to drop right back down again now. Okay. Now well, that's it. Brilliant game. Loved it. Absolutely loved that. Right, so next game, guys, will be King of Monsters. <laughs> um, as I say, I've played this on the Super Nintendo, and it was okay. But um, I would imagine this has got something over the Super Nintendo. I know the graphics are going to be better, but are the controls any better? Is there more to the game? It is basically a wrestling game, as far as I can see. But uh, let's just see. Now, I haven't got a clue which monster I should go with. Let's go this guy. He looks pretty cool. Tokyo. Right, here we go. I don't know what the buttons are either, so. So we've got 
We've got punch, kick, punch, kick. Don't know what I'm supposed to do there. So I should have really checked out the buttons before I played this. Oh, that was a nice move. Let's try that one again. Oh yes, so double um, A and B button. Picks him up. Oh, he's got me this time. Now I would have thought I was doing oh that was a good move. doing some damage, but he's done more damage to me. Oh, I can't pick him up, it's too heavy. <laughs> no, slam. I don't know all the wrestling moves, guys. Oh, that's doubles. Yes. not doing a lot of damage come on yes let's just keep doing that or oh, picked up something there oh I think I'm dead I'm out now aren't I am I out <laughs> it's good come on get up get up oh he's electrocuted me Oh, I've got a helicopter. Oh, I threw that. He's thrown something at me as well. Get up. Get up. I've got no health left. And yet I'm still alive. I don't know how that's happening. Come on, lift him up. Come on, get up. No, he's defeated me. That is it. I could quite easily get into that game. I think it's a good game, but I just need to research the buttons, which would have been a good idea, wouldn't it, before I started playing. But yeah, it's a good game. I'm enjoying it. It is a good game. Four absolutely fabulous games to have in my collection. I enjoyed playing all four of those. I really did. I need to research some of the the controls a little bit more especially for king of monsters and samurai showdown because um, i'd like to get good at them I, I can see they're a good game and they've got a bit of depth to them uh king of monsters you know you can double tap on the joystick and you can run at the the guy and, and when the other guy is down you can slam jump him or whatever the move's called um double tapping on both the buttons does something else as well which i was trying to do and obviously all the characters have different moves as well. So I've got to go into that game and learn the moves. And it is a fun game to play. Uh, the music's great in there, the atmosphere. And I love the way that the helicopters are coming around. You can grab them and then chuck them at the other opponent. I thought it was a really good game, actually. Um, Samurai Showdown. The music in that is just incredible. I just love having it on as an attract screen in here in the arcade. Because it just feels really Japanese. Um, beautiful game. But I'm, again, as I say, I don't know whether I've got it on the hard mode because I found it very difficult to get past the first opponent, which is, I'm not the best fighter uh, player. You know, I'm a fairly good at Street Fighter on the Super Nintendo, um, but I'm not very good with fighters on the joystick and buttons. I do find that the circular motions quite difficult to pull off, but I do want to get better at it because I think it is a fantastic game. I love the artwork. I love the way the camera zooms in and out on the game um, and all the little backdrops, you know, all the little things that are going on in the background are really cool. So, yeah, really chuffed to get that. I'd be interested to see what the other Samurai Showdown games are like. Well, I know what they're like because I've got them on the Switch, but I'd like, I want to play them on the machine, you know, with the joystick and the buttons and stuff. Uh, Metal Slug. Fantastic game, um, but it is that typical 90s game where I can remember it back in the day, it wasn't about your highest score, it was always about how far you could get in the game. 
uh, on, on one credit, which is okay, you know, but for me, the golden era of arcades is that high score challenge, you know, keep chasing those high scores. These 90s games is not really about that. I think it's more about how far you can get in the game, you know, see the end of level boss, which is cool. Um, and I will play it like that. I will try and play it like one credit only. If I die, I go back to the beginning again and just see how far I can get each time. So it's got a lot of replay value if you play it like that. If you keep pumping credits into these games, then I think you're soon going to get bored. But if you, you know, do a one credit, see how far you get and, and learn where everything is on the screen. Each time you're going to get better and a little bit further. And that's how I'm going to play Metal Slug. Uh, Turf Masters, Neo Turf Masters, I absolutely love that. I think that'd be a fantastic two-player game. Going to need some bar stools in here, though, uh, for two of us to play that. But, yeah, lovely chilled games. Nice to have a chilled game in the arcade. You know, it's nice to have a mixture. You know, you've got your frantic Robotron's defenders. It's nice to play a bit of Sheriff now and again, a bit of Donkey Kong, and a bit of Neo Turf Masters. Just relax with a beer after a frantic day of gaming, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Four fan, absolute fantastic games to add to the collection. They would definitely be staying, and it makes that cab worthwhile owning. It really does. Just having four games to swap around is, is worth owning a Neo Geo cab like that. Just for those four games, I think they're absolutely brilliant. Anyway, that's it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry if my voice is a bit out. I've got COVID at the moment. I'm all right. I've just got It's just feels like a rotten cold. Um, and I feel a little bit spacey, but you know, I've been sitting around so much. I wanted to get this video out for you guys. So here it is. I hope you have a good weekend. Enjoy your Friday night and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.